What's up, guys? It's your boy, Alan Wade, King Alan Alexander. That's right. It's me. Thank you. Um, follow me on Instagram at A-Dub Productions. Also, go head over to Facebook, follow A-Dub Productions, and also follow King A-Dub. Follow both of those pages on Facebook, guys, for behind-the-scenes and exclusives, specifically Instagram, but also we're going to be live streaming, and I do all a lot of Q&As on my Facebook pages, so follow me there. Guys, today we're going to be embroidering the basketball design. We are finishing up and we are winding down on all of our sports packages and our social media packages, but today we're going to be embroidering a basketball. If you'd like to purchase this .pes design, then go head over to allenaway.com and purchase it for the price of $1. If you haven't purchased your brother SE600 as of yet, use the link down in the description below. Use my Amazon link. I am an Amazon affiliate and purchase your SE600 today so you can stitch along with us guys. So let's get into it without further ado. You see it, you see it, you know you want one. It's the brother SE600, baby. So we're going to go ahead and turn on our machine by flicking the button right here. And you see the screen light up and we're going to go ahead and put in our um, memory drive right here, memory stick. So those of you who got um, who want memory sticks with preloaded designs, you can order that on allenaway.com. Coming up soon, just keep on checking back. By sometime next week, I'll have um, those memory sticks available. Tap the screen one time for your mind. Make sure I'm focused. And then hit OK. Go ahead and press this button right here. Let me give you guys a close-up. I'm sorry. Pardon on my manners. OK, so boom, press that button right there. So, and we're going to go ahead and navigate to our folder. It says digitize files. And that is where I put all my digitized files to keep stuff organized on my flash drive. All right, it's taking a long time because I have a lot of files loaded up on there. You see the basketball design. We're gonna go ahead and press that, set, and edit. As a matter of fact, should I move that to the bottom? Let me move it to the top, as a matter of fact. Let me move that up a little bit. You can go ahead and place that file on a different part of your different location of your, um, uh, what do you call it? Hooping fabric. All right, so we're just gonna call it hooping fabric. Then we're gonna press embroider. Now we are ready to go as far as this area is concerned. You see it's gonna take 17 minutes for this whole thing to stitch out, which is not that bad at all. Orange, and we have our black right here. So let's go ahead and load up our fabric, sh I mean our thread, shall we? Let's do it. We're gonna go ahead to our handy dandy kit and find the uh, appropriate colors we need. Orange is 208. And let me see, I don't see 208 up here. Maybe it's on the other side. Boom, if you wanna purchase one of these, link down in the description below. 208, let me see. Here's 209, that looks pretty orange, but it says orange is 208. Why am I not seeing 208 in here? 208, what's 209? 209 is tangerine. I might use tangerine, guys. 208? This doesn't, this looks more gold. Uh, we're gonna use tangerine, guys. We're gonna use, we're gonna have a tangerine basketball, all right? Tangerine and black. All right, got that situated. Now, what I didn't do yet is hoop my fabric. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys see my junk drawer here. Here's an empty hoop. Here is a pre-cut. I'm not gonna use this one. I'm gonna use this one. Pre-cut little fabric thing. As you guys see, it's, little stained up, but we're just doing this for demonstration purposes. Let me find a better one because I want to give you guys nothing but the best, yes. And we have a piece of uh, tearaway stabilizer right here. So this is how I do it. I find the rough edge of the tearaway stabilizer, right, which is this part right here. I go ahead and I lay down my material on top of the uh, tear away uh, stable of the lizer. Okay, and then I remove the upper part of the hoop. I make sure it has some give in it. Unscrew that a, uh, a bit. And then I go ahead and lay my top, my tear away stabilizer along with my material on top of this hoop. Make sure I have both the tear away stabilizer has room on both ends and this end right here is butted up against this corner right here. All right, 
boom, 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 boom. Everything's looking good so far, so far so good. Boom, and now I go ahead and I find this arrow because this arrow matches up with this arrow on the top of the hoop right here. So I find this arrow and I go ahead and I this the method I use, I drop it on it, I find it, I go ahead and I push down this side right here and then I use this rim to push it out and that opens it up and then I drop the other side in, all right? And then if I see some wrinkles in here, I'll gently pull a little bit the wrinkles out while simultaneously, while holding this down at the same time, I'm pulling, I'm not applying a lot of force, I'm just pulling a, a little bit just to get the wrinkles out because I don't want to make any tension in the uh, material, all right? So now it's perfectly flat. Now I go ahead and I tighten it up. All right, so that is how I hoop every time you see me do my designs, guys. Now that we're all hooped up and ready to go, guys, still got a little bunching up at the bottom right there, but that's okay. For the most part, it is perfecto. All right, let's go ahead and put this in the machine. If you haven't done so already, please hit that like button. I greatly appreciate it, thank you. Doesn't she look so pristine? All right, I think I have enough bobbin thread in here. If not, then you guys will see when I swap it out. But we go ahead and place this flat down. Make sure this is up, this lever's up, flat down, just slides back in here onto the hoop. Lock it in, have a video demonstrating exactly how to do that. And now we are pretty much ready to embroider, but we have to change our bobbin our, in our um, spool up top because we do not have the proper color up top. So we have white up top, so we're gonna just go ahead and pull this out right here and wind it up, wind it up, wind it up, wind it up. Boom, got it wound up. And grab ourselves a spool saver and place that on top of there so that our thread doesn't go flying all over the place. Now we're gonna grab our tangerine because on the screen right here, it's asking for the tangerine color first, 12 minutes of that, and then six minutes of the black, and then we'll have our design. So we're gonna go ahead and load up our tangerine color. Let me show you guys how, how I do this right here. Once again, if you haven't purchased your brother SE600, make sure you use the link down below to purchase yours so you can stitch along with me today. Um, you will get just as good as I get once you get past the learning curves. I have a few videos specifically to teach you all the learning curves. So if you don't know what those are, if you're getting any bird nesting, which is gathering of the thread underneath, or if you're getting any white thread, any, um, of the uh, thread from below coming through, then you got haven't watched all my videos yet. You need to watch all the videos so you can save yourself a lot of uh, mistakes, all right? Because I have all those videos that show exactly how to do this. As you will notice, my design will be flawless. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna say that because this is my first time stitching this out. Let me bring the camera a little bit closer for you guys. This is my first time stitching this design out. Just, just fresh off the computer, so we'll see how it turns out. Let's just start it up. Starting it up, and we'll see how it turns out. All right, looking good so far. You see the circle of the basketball. Let me loosen this up, and I'm gonna bring this head down up a little bit so we can get a up top view. You're getting some live movement here, guys action-packed video with live movement, live camera adjustments. Give this video a thumbs up right now if you haven't given this video a thumbs up already. If it's your first time here, then please consider subscribing. Don't consider subscribing, just subscribe to help me out. I'm almost at 10,000 subscribers, guys, and at 10,000, we're gonna visit the YouTube space. I don't even think, I've watched a few videos that said you don't need, I don't think you need 10,000 subscribers to visit the YouTube space, which is what I thought. If I'd have known that, I would have been visiting the YouTube space, but because we've been waiting for 10,000, we're just gonna go ahead and wait it out and get to 10,000 subscribers, and then I'm gonna take you guys to the YouTube space so we can see what that's all about, and you guys can get my rendition and my interpretation of my experience of the YouTube space, guys. So make sure you subscribe and tuned in for that coming up. Hopefully we can be there sometime in December, towards the end of December, I'm calculating, hopefully we'll see what happens. But um, 
And I'm gonna go ahead and let this stitch out a little bit more and I'll be right back to you. As you can see, the SE600 is stitching out a background part and now it's starting to stitch out the main part of the um, orange. A lot of shifting going on, that's cool. But we'll see how it turns out when it stitches out the majority. I, it seems like it's a lot of shifting going on. But we'll see how that turns out, guys. All right, I'm gonna let it stitch out the majority of this and I'll be right back to you. Okay, just let your stitch out. So guys, as you can tell, even though it's my first time stitching this design out, uh, since it's been created on the Brother PE Design 10 uh, software, it seems to be coming out on very much on point. So it's now time to change the bobbin. I didn't anticipate this. Actually, I did anticipate this, but I didn't think, I don't know, I didn't think it was probably gonna happen because we were getting very close. So let me show you guys how to change the bobbin real fast. First, you get your new bobbin. You got it sitting right here, sit it right over here. You press the cut button right here to cut the thread. All right, cut the thread, raise this up, take your hoop out. Yes, this does include taking the hoop out. Um, press this little small button right here. I got a video that shows you guys how to do this, but there's a little small lever, if you will, right there. You point to it right here. After you pull this to the side, this glass pops up. Move that glass, take the bobbin out. That simple to take the bobbin out. All right. Then you get your new bobbin. The bobbin stopper off of it, and you load up the bobbin just how it says to load it up on this diagram down on the embroidery machine. That's quite simple. Oop! I just set that down there like that. All right. Just sit it down in there, and you get it underneath this little portion right here. Take it around here like it does in the illustration, and that's it. It's loaded up. Put that door back on a little groove and clicks right back into place then you put this in here like that and then bring this down and it's like it never happened acknowledge on the screen press ok and it's like it never happened it's like you never ran out of bobbin wow look at that let's stop for a second because we got this little orange part sticking up a little extra thread sticking up so I, lately, I've just been blowing the threads out of the way. I got tweezers over here. Let me grab my tweezers. Grab that little thread that I just cut. And get it out of there and continue on. It's magical. It's like it never even happened. It's like it never even happened, guys. Can't even tell. Oh my gosh, this thing is so awesome. It's like it never happened. Sheesh. Sheesh. All right, so um, I'll be right back with you when it's time to change, when it's time to slow down and change threads. Be right back with you. All right, everybody, you see that it has stopped. The circle looks perfect. The background outline uh, had played no part in uh, damaging our design whatsoever. So I'm gonna make this a game for us right now. I'm going to see how fast I can change from this thread to this thread and you guys can tell me how fast I do it. All right, you ready? And go. Oh, should have put that down, messed up already. Wrap included. That's okay because I'm confident in my ability. If I wouldn't have done this, then it would have, I would have done this faster, but I am doing this, but it really doesn't matter because I'm that good. I spent a whole lot of time talking. Uh, boom, boom, around here. What I was doing at the top there was adding a little bit of tension. So that I can boom, 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 clip, and ready to go. How fast was that, guys? How fast was that? All right. How fast was that? And you are going to be just as proficient as I through watching my videos, all right? So now we're just gonna press this button right here and it's gonna start embroidering the black around the basketball. I hope that's not the part it's gonna do first. Oh no, it's not, good, good, because that's not what it's supposed to do. All right, let's get a stream close up for you guys. 
so you guys can see what's going on. Are y'all picking up what we putting down here? Is y'all picking up what we putting down? And that's the first line. This is a jump stitch right here. So I'm gonna stop the machine in a little while so I can cut that jump stitch. All right, I'm gonna stop it in a second. Just gonna press the button, that arrow up top. It's gonna stop and I'm just gonna go ahead and trim that stitch right there. Grab my little tweezy D's, tweezers and trim this one right here. Take that off right there and continue on like nothing ever happened. Like nothing ever happened. Keep that going. You know what I'm talking about. All right. So you guys, we're just gonna let this stitch out and I will catch you guys at the end. It's gonna go to the next part. I actually thought, to be honest with you, that I changed the order of this, but obviously I didn't. So this is one where we're definitely gonna have to cut it now because I don't want it to go over top of this stitch right here. So let's go ahead and trim this right now. All right. And put that back down and continue on. All right, looking good, looking good. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Thank you. And guys, I wanted to just show you this. Uh, this one right here is another jump cut that I want to cut before it starts good, getting too far because like I said, I don't want the design to stitch over the loose thread. So stop the machine and clip that one also. And the reason why I'm showing you guys this stuff is because this is also going to serve just like all of my uh, videos, all the other designs pretty much have when you buy a design from alanaway.com, the design will have a video to go along with it so you guys can stitch along with the video so you guys can buy your files in confidence and know that this is something that the person that made the design actually did so you guys know it's going to come out good, all right? And that's why I do this, all right? So now it's going to go ahead and stitch it along the perimeter. I should have let it start right there. I don't know why I did that jump right there, but that's okay. So it's going along the perimeter of the design. Might have to add a little bit more uh, pull compensation on the design and stitch it out one more time for you guys so you guys get an excellent file. But for the most part, I'll show you guys what we have right now and I'll stitch another one out before I put it live on the website so that you guys can know you have a good quality file. I see some changes that need to be done right here. So of course those changes are gonna be done before you guys buy this file. All right, because as it's going over these rough edges, it's pulling through some of the white thread. And obviously we don't want that. So some changes are gonna have to be made with this design. All right, and they will be made and we will fix it. We got all types of pull count problems and that's due to these thick lines right here. We'll figure that out. We'll get that done. I guarantee you guys we'll figure that out. And this border right here, that's the problem. The border isn't thick enough. Hmm. I don't know how I messed that up. But we'll come back, we'll make adjustments, and we'll fix that. Very, very interesting how I screwed that one up. Nor I, 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 I was really good at this, but obviously this design is not perfect like the other ones have been. I'm slacking, guys. What can I say? I'm slacking. Got a lot of changes to do in this design. Sheesh. All right, so we're all done. I press OK. Swipe the thread. Let me show you guys what we came up with. A lot of changes need to be done to this design, guys. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you, and we're going to stitch it out over again because I'm not going to send you anything that's sell you anything that's less than perfection. All right. So you guys see right here. See the gap right here, see the gap right here, see the white thread peeking through right here. So we're gonna have to make a lot of changes to this design and the software, come back and stitch out another one. And uh, yeah, so 
Um, let me go do that right now. And then I'll be right back with you guys. I'm just trying to get this black thread. Oh my gosh. So many issues with this design, guys. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So just so you guys can see some of the uh, difficulties that you'll be facing when you um, start digitizing your own designs. We need some pull compensation added to make the orange part come out all the way, right? We need to make the border around here thicker. We need to make this line thicker and we need to make it so that the line just touches this line but does not overlap. It doesn't go into it because when it goes into it, that's what's causing the friction between this one and this one. So yeah, that's what we need to do. And so we'll get to it. All right, guys, it's time for our hundredth go around at this. I've stitched this out several other times, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, let me be very, very honest with my audience because I always wanna be honest. So guys, I actually sat this design down and walked away from it. And the first part of the video was at least, I did in November. Right now it is December 17th. I did the first part of this video in November, mid, mid to early November. And I walked away from this design because it was, th this design because it was giving me a whole lot of problems. But I picked it back up and it should, I, I made some adjustments in the file and now it should be perfect. So I'm not gonna bore you guys and let you guys watch all this. I'm just gonna skip ahead to the, stitching out the black part and then I'm gonna stitch, skip ahead again to the completed design and we'll compare it with the other ones, guys. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to purchase your file, alanaway.com. Buy some channel merch. Give this video a thumbs up because I never quit. I, even though I walked away from it for a couple months, I came back and we are back at it again. And I felt like it was too good of a design to just not give to you guys, to not offer to you guys. So yeah, here it is. So skip ahead, talk to you guys in a second. All right, if you guys notice, we're getting a much, much cleaner design right now. And what you guys wanna do, um, this is the file that you guys are gonna get. So what you guys wanna do is, every time you get a jump stitch, let it stitch a little bit, stop it, and then cut that jump stitch, okay? Don't let the machine embroider over that jump stitch because it's going to start pulling, it's gonna start pulling the design together, all right? So you don't wanna um, let the machine stitch on those jump stitches. All right, so like this, for example, I'm gonna let it stitch a few. This one is going off of the jump stitch, so I'm gonna stop it right here anyway. And I'm just gonna raise up the foot. I'm just gonna reach behind here. I'm gonna trim it. I'm gonna grab it, the other thread, and trim that thread. Put it back down and continue on like that you want to do that for all of them all right i just want to show you guys that and let this stitch out and we'll be right back all right so the se 600 is finishing up and i'm happy to announce that this file right here is available right now for sale on alanaway.com guys it looks like it came out great just like the other files so we can add them to our collection alanawade.com you see i had the issue down up here and i had the issue down here i also had the issue with the white thread peeking through if you're having any of those issues guys if you're having any of those issues you might want to change your needle because it's possible that your needle could not be uh, it's not sharp enough to penetrate while it's when it's overlapping and it's also possible that you need to add some more pull compensation to um, account for the design having gaps. So just a few tips um, when you start uh, digitizing your designs yourself, guys. So um, I think this design came out great. I think it came out clean. Like I said, uh, the first part of the video was recorded about a month, over a month ago. And I just came back to this design because I thought it was too good of a design to just let go to waste. And I have a few other designs like that coming up. 
and I have a bunch more embroidery files for you guys. So make sure you stay tuned, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the like button, like button, make sure you share with your friends because I'm pushing for 10K subscribers by the end of December. If not, then I'll definitely have it by January, hopefully, God willing, but you know, uh, I'm so close, so I'm trying to push for it. So I'm just gonna be posting like crazy this month. So, um, you know, hopefully, the Google algorithm will bless me with some with some more subs and you guys will share some more videos so that I can get, get to my goal. And in January, at the latest, January 1st or first week in January, sometimes we can visit the YouTube studio and I can make a video on that. That would be so awesome. Great way to start the new year off. And I'll talk to you guys um, on the next one. Turn up that, crank it up. Why listen to the rest when you're rockin' with the best, baby?